Hi, this is Richard Price with High Tech Battery Solutions, and today we're going to be taking a look at the SeaTech Multi US 3300 battery charger. Uh, the 3300 charger here is maximum output of 3.3 amps, with uh, the availability of a small trickle charge setting at 800 milliamps or 0.8 amps. Uh, the charger itself is going to be one of SeaTech's more popular chargers. It's used in a wide variety of regular retail as well as high-end automo automobiles. And the 3300 is a fully automatic switch mode charger, uh, plug and play capable. So you'd be able to hook this up to your vehicle, let it sit for 6 months, 12 months, all the way up to 2 years or more, and the battery would be charged ready to go upon removing the charger. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to take you through a quick demonstration of the few different modes included in the SeaTech charger. And uh, basically just show you all around how to use it and what it's meant to do. Uh, inside of the box you're going to get the battery clamp connections as well as the mountable eyelet terminals. Both these options are going to be quick disconnect uh, shown here and SeaTech does offer a wide variety of other accessories which we'll be able to show you later on in a different video. Now we're going to show you uh, what the 3300 looks like when it's in use and we're going to show you how to switch between uh, the three different modes on the actual charger itself. So for this demonstration, uh, we're going to have two batteries here. The first is going to be an automotive series. It's a Group 27 uh, AGM made by a company called Northstar, sealed maintenance free. And the second one is going to be a motorcycle battery, primarily a BMW battery in this case. And it is made by a company called Adventure Power. It's a lower capacity battery we're going to use for the uh, trickle charge mode. So the first thing that we've done here is we've already gone ahead and plugged in our 3300 to the wall the AC outlet and uh, we've already gone ahead and attached our quick disconnect for the battery clamps and the first battery we're going to get uh, trying on here is going to be our smaller capacity motorcycle battery and what we're going to do here is going to connect the positive first so the red goes to the positive terminal and the black battery clamp goes to the negative okay so once those two are hooked up uh, you'll see the power light will remain constant here whether it's hooked up to a battery or not just means there's power going to the charger. So what we're going to do here to select the first mode is we're going to hit the mode button once. This is going to bring it into the motorcycle mode here and this is a 0.8 amp or 800 milliamp charge mode uh, meant for battery capacities of 14 amp hours or lower. Uh, in this case this battery is already fully charged so it's going to go straight to the fully charged indicator. Uh, these two other indicators that are not lit here on the top first one is going to be an exclamation point. Uh, this means uh, one of a few things. First is that there is a bad connection between the charger and the battery. Uh, second, there is a short in the battery. Or third, the battery voltage is so low that the charger is not able to kick over. So if you see that light, there is an issue somewhere. Uh, the second light is the not charged light. Basically this light will remain uh, lit for a period of time until the battery is physically charged. It could not stay on for up to 12 to 14 hours, uh, even greater depending on, on the capacity of the battery itself. So we're going to move on here to our automotive battery and we're going to follow the same steps. We're going to hook it straight to the terminals of the battery. We're going to hook up the positive to the positive post here first and the negative clamp to the negative. And we're going to go ahead and switch it over to the automobile mode just by hitting the mode button once. As you can see, this battery is not fully charged. So we're going to get the middle indicator LED light lighting up. And it'll probably realistically take about a good six hours in order for this battery to reach the fully charged state. And just something to note here, this third mode here, which is indicated by a snowflake, is used for two different reasons. The first of which is if the temperature outside is below 40 degrees. If it's below 40 degrees, this charger will actually up the rate of charge going to the batteries. Uh, in order to properly maintain them. So it is important that you switch this mode if you're going into maintenance over a winter uh, or a cold spot of weather. And the second reason is that uh, higher end AGM batteries like Optima, Odyssey, and the North Star brand are going to require a higher voltage input in order to charge. So this, this snowflake mode is recommended for those battery manufacturers as well. So this concludes our demonstration of the 3300 charger. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment on the video on our YouTube page, or you can give us a call toll-free at 
4381. Thanks for watching. Take care.